Many of us might already be thinking about that special gift for the special someone, whether it's a loved one, family member, friend, and holiday shopping might be looking a little bit different this year, especially if we like those brick and mortar stores. And here to talk a little bit more about what he thinks holiday shopping might look yeah. like is the ever knowing Jerry Beckman of Monroe Furniture. Thanks for having us here today, Jerry. Thank you for coming again. I appreciate that. You know, most people really don't care what I think. That's the funny part of this. You know? <laughs> we care. Okay, well, we appreciate care. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think, I think this year's uh, 2020 mm -hmm. has been a really weird year anyway yeah. for, for all of us and and I don't think the holiday shopping season is going to change all the you know I mean I think it's going to be a real challenge for retailers be that brick and mortar retailers be right. that online retailers be that uh, any type of retailer and I also think it's going to be a challenge for shoppers and that's really right. what I I think I wanted to talk about today because I want shoppers to be prepared for some of the challenges they may face. Yeah, right. larger crowds right. definitely as they head outside for sure. You know, yeah. I mean maybe not yeah. this year, but you know yeah. that's normally what we would expect. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. You would expect a uh, a lot of traffic, and and it'll be interesting to see how that all pans out. Uh, but for retailers, there's um, you know we're always ready for the. For the traffic the traffic's the good part of yeah. everything yeah. Uh, that we would love to see uh, copy like it has other years mm -hmm. uh, it's the other things that i'm a little concerned about uh, that that may or may not happen this year mm -hmm. and and one of those things is obviously people consumers want choices and pe you know people want to be able to go i like that and i want to take it with me um, can you maybe elaborate on the availability of products that, uh, you, for sure you've seen it already this year, but when people aren't focused on shopping that might not be aware of, what can you say as far as availability? I think that's going to be the biggest challenge, I think, for online retailers and especially for brick and mortar retailers, mm -hmm. is the availability of product. Um, we're running into situations where factories are they're shut down for a week because three people tested positive for COVID mm -hmm. and then they get up and running and they're running at about 30% capacity, right. but, but they, have, uh, they have a backup of orders because mm -hmm. quite frankly, in the furniture and, and appliance industry, it's been a pretty good year to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So they've got this glut of orders, but they only have 30% of their workforce to try and fill these orders. Right. And then uh, they get shut down for another week. So right. now they come back and they have a glut of orders again. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's been a real problem this summer and early fall that uh, product availability is not good. Right. So, you know, my advice to the consumer mm -hmm. is don't wait. You know, I'm, I'm a great shopper on Christmas Eve. I am the <laughs> best <laughs> shopper on Christmas Eve you've ever seen. <laughs> Unfortunately, you get you, it all done yeah. in one minute. Oh yeah, yeah like, you, know, you know, pretty. Yeah, I give me a half an hour. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. You know, but but the thing is, I, you're not going to be able to wait until mm -hmm. Black Friday. I don't think. Right. I don't think you're going to be able to wait till the week before Christmas. And if you do wait till Black Friday or the week before Christmas, you're going to be able. To, you're going to have to take what's there. Right. And that's where I'm going with this is I just don't know what's going to be there and I don't know what the availability is mm -hmm. going to be. And I don't care if it's a furniture store, if it's a jewelry store, if it's a lawnmower right. shop. I don't, right. I just don't know that the availability that people are used to seeing is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So not yeah. procrastinating obviously is important and you know, having, you know, setting aside time for shopping for sure. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you expect with hours for holiday shopping hours this year? Well, and I think that's another issue. Mm -hmm. Just like factories have been shut down, mm -hmm. retailers end up getting maybe shut down for a day or two or a week or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important that people pay attention to what retailers hours are, weekend hours, evening hours, whatever that case may be. Mm -hmm. We've, we've, We've shut our hours down to five o'clock weekdays. Now we may change that as we move into the holidays a little bit, but it may not be the same hours re that mm -hmm. consumers are used to. So my advice would be 
check the hours before you go shopping, yeah. right. you know, and make sure that the store is open today. Right. And if yeah. they are open, that yeah. they're open till eight o'clock in the evening and they didn't yeah. close at five o'clock or, right. yeah. you know, I think that's going to be the thing is I'm not sure that the hours that we're used to are going to be the hours that's necessarily yeah. going to be out there this year yeah. Yeah. for retailers. Yeah. Um, you know, retailers have had to make a lot of tough choices this year, you know, on staffing and on hours of, of availability and all this other stuff. So it's kind of, I think, I think it's important that the consumers do their due diligence and kind of do a little investigating mm -hmm. ahead of time. Absolutely. And we are out of time already, Jerry. Holy I wish we would have had another five minutes to discuss this. This is, yeah. again, we care about what you think here. Yeah. So, But thank you so much for being here with us today and having us here. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming down.